pi is 3.14159265. But you came here for Pocket Ronnie, so please stay tuned. Okay, we're going to be combining like terms in algebra. You combine like terms when you said like 2x plus 3x plus 4y minus 2y. You can only combine x's to x's and y's to y's. 2x plus 3x is 5x, 4y minus 2y is 2y. You cannot combine x's to y's. So we're going to be doing the same thing. Your terms have to be exactly alike in order for you to combine them, okay? So we just have a little bit more complicated problem. So what we're going to do here is this is made up of three terms. This is one term, a second term, a third term. Okay, what we're going to do for each term is to get it on one line. Okay, put it on one line. Here you have a 2 coefficient out in front. So I'm just going to write my 2. I'm going to rewrite my numerator. Then I want to pull all of this up to the top. So if I change the place at the base, I have to change the sign of the exponent. So if I want to move this x to the numerator, I have to change my sign of the exponent, which will become now a positive 1. If I want to move this up to the numerator, change the sign of the exponent, now it becomes a positive one. Now let's go to my next term. I'm going to rewrite my numerator, 8, x to the fifth, y to the fifth. Now I want to move all of this up to the top. So if I move this up to the top, right now what exponent is on my x? A 1. So if I move it to the numerator, it now needs to become a negative 1. Change the sign of your exponent. This y is also an exponent of 1. If I move it to the numerator, it becomes a negative 1. Okay, now let's move on to this term. Anytime you have a coefficient that has a negative, that implies a fraction. Change your signs on your numbers to be positive exponents. Don't leave this as 3 to the negative 1. 3 to the negative 1 is the same thing as 1 third. Move the 3 down to the denominator, change the sign of your exponent, that would be 1 over 3 to the first. So make this coefficient a 1 third. Only change the places when it's a number, when it's a number with a negative exponent. Change that. And we're going to leave this as a one-third coefficient. Now we're going to rewrite our numerator, x to the fourth, y to the fifth. Now I want to change, uh, move these up to the numerator, so I've got to change the sign of my exponent. That would now become x to the negative two. Moving this up now becomes y to the negative two. Now I'm ready to combine x's and y's in each term. So within this term, let's combine my x's and y's. So I have two. Here's an x, x. x cubed, x to the first. We are multiplying, so add your exponents. That now becomes x to the fourth. y cubed, y to the first. We are multiplying everything, so we add our exponent. That becomes y to the fourth. Now to my next term. There's my addition sign. Remember, everything is multiplied. 2 times this, times this, times this, times this. Come down here, you're still multiplying. 2 times this, times this. This is one term. When you get down, you should still have three terms, just like you started with. Now, write my coefficient of 8. Now, let's combine x's. x to the fifth, x to the negative 1. Adding your exponents. Adding a 5 and a negative 1 becomes a positive 4. y to the fifth, y to the negative 1. Adding those together, you get y to the fourth. Now to my next term. There's my subtraction sign. Just write your fraction coefficient. Leave it as a fraction. It's okay. Combining my x terms, positive 4 and a negative 2 leaves me a positive 2. Combining my y's, positive 5 and a negative 2 gives me a positive 3. Now you want to look at your letters, not your coefficients, your letters. Is any, are any of them your letters exactly alike? Okay, you can see that this and this are exactly alike. X to the fourth, y to the fourth. X to the fourth, y to the fourth. When they are exactly alike, you can combine them. Let me tell you something real quick. If this had been y to the fourth, x to the fourth, it is still exactly alike because these are multiplied and multiplication is commutative. So x to the fourth times y to the fourth is the same thing as y to the fourth, x to the fourth. All right? You can always switch them so they look the same if that helps you. So x to the fourth, y to the fourth. These terms are exactly alike. So that's like saying two of these 
plus eight of these. So you're just adding your coefficients. It's like saying I have two cookies plus eight cookies, which means that I have 10 cookies. Well, instead of writing cookies, I'm just going to rewrite exactly what I have. Don't add your exponents at this point or change your letters. It's like two cookies plus eight cookies is 10 cookies. The these part does not change. That stays the same. Since this x squared y cubed doesn't match anything that we have, we just rewrite it the way that it already is. Leave your coefficient as, an x, as a fraction. And then this would be your final answer. Okay, let's go down to 3D10. I'm going to do another one of these. The first step on all of these, you have three terms, one, two, three. The first step is to put each term on one line. So I'm going to look at this term and put everything on one line. So I'm just going to rewrite what I have, rewrite my numerator, 30x squared, y to the negative 1. Now I want to move everything in my denominator up to my numerator. If you change the place of the base, you have to change the sign of the exponent. So to move this up, I have to change the sign of my exponent to now become a negative 1. Move this up to the numerator, have to change the sign to now become a negative 3. Now let's go to my next term. Rewrite your numerator. Now let's move everything from the denominator up. Y, it was a positive 3, now it needs to become a negative 3. This moving up, now it needs to become a negative 2. Now let's write our last term, okay? Let's look at this. 18 to the 0. Anything to the 0 power equals what? 1. So that becomes 1 x to the 0, anything to the 0 power becomes 1. So essentially this is like saying 1 times 1, rewrite the numerator. So 1 times 1 is 1 and 1 times x to the negative 1 is still x to the negative 1. 1 times anything is itself. Okay, So it's almost like these things go away. They don't go away, they just get um, multiplied into the problem. Now let's move the, everything from the denominator up. So we have to change the sign of the exponent, so that becomes y to the negative 4. This becomes x to the negative 2. Moving this up, change the sign of the exponent, becomes y to the positive 2. Watch your signs. Now, we still have three terms. One, two, three. Now within each term, we're going to combine x's and y's. Okay? Everything is multiplied. There's nothing to multiply 32, so we still keep our 30. We have x squared times this, times this, times this. Everything is multiplied, so our bases that are multiplied, we add our exponents. So now we have x squared and x to the negative 3. Adding those exponents, we get x to the negative 1. Taking our y's, adding those exponents. I'm in debt 1, I'm in debt another 1. So I'm in debt 2. Now, there's nothing to multiply this coefficient to, so it stays x to the first, x to the negative 2. Adding those exponents leaves us a negative 1. Adding our y exponents gives us a negative 4. Now over here, we just have 1 times 1 is 1, a coefficient of 1. We don't have to write it. You can write it if you want to, but you don't have to write the coefficient of 1. So combining our x's, a negative 1 and a negative 2 gives us x to the negative 3. Combining our y's, negative 4 and a positive 2 gives us y to the negative 2. Now you look to see, is anything exactly alike? We have x to the negative 1, y to the negative 2. Are any of these other ones x to the negative 1, y to the negative 2? No. x to the negative 1, y to the negative 4. Are any of these other ones x to the negative 1, y to the negative 4? No. There's nothing that matches this exactly either. None of these terms are exactly alike. Remember, the letters have to be exactly alike with the exponents. None are exactly alike, so this is your final answer. There is another way this answer can be written. It will be shown in your book. You can actually write this as positive exponents if you want to. The 30 stays, because all this is like over 1, okay, 30. If you want to make this a positive exponent, you change the place. So it's like over 1, that now becomes in the denominator. So if I want to make a positive exponent, x to the first, it has to be moved to the denominator. If, that, if you want that to be a positive exponent, it has to be moved down into the denominator. If you change the sign of the exponent, you have to change the place of the base. Same with this one. You can, the 11 stays, because it's like all over 1, so the 11 stays up in the numerator. 
this x can be moved down to become a x to the positive 1. Your y can be moved down to become y to the positive 4. Over here, it's like a coefficient of 1. So you have a 1 up here, and everything can be moved down the denominator to become positive exponents. So you will also see it in the book this way with positive exponents. This way is acceptable. I will accept those answers with negative exponents. I just want to show you that you can also see a problem this way as well. I want you to recognize that these are the same answer.